Good morning, it's Debbie from Creatively Yours and welcome to my channel and welcome to Flosstube, another Flosstube video, it's my fifth one. Um, I'm a bit sick so if I sound like that, uh, so be it. Hence the no makeup and hair in a bun and yeah. Um, I wanted to make, <clears throat> I'm sorry, a quick video uh, on my plans for 2018 and uh, yeah, let's get into it. Uh, first I want to show you uh, what I have been working on for the past couple of weeks and it hasn't been much but it's a little and I don't have much time. So first I worked on my uh, Weaver's Tapestry Band Sampler Cell, which is on Facebook, and I did a little, a little more since the last time I showed you this. So, yeah, I will be working on this, and on the 3rd of January, we will be getting the first uh, band pattern. So, we will see. I love it. That's that. And the next one, I, I'm sorry if the light is going in and out. I'm in front of my window on, in my craft room. And every time I move, the, the uh, light is going in and out. So bear with me. Uh, the next one uh, is a new start. And it's this one. It's by um, Modern Folk Embroidery, Jacob de Graaf. Um, and it's light a single candle, and I love the saying. And yeah, it's a freebie, uh, I think. I don't know if it's a freebie right now, but you can check his uh, website out. And I made a little start, and I have a little thread hanging. <laughs> Yeah, right here, uh, I started in the middle on black 18 count Ada and uh, have the words candle then and I was just working on the sentence above that. So yeah, it's a fun stitch. And the next one I was working on, and it's also a new start is uh, I showed you this last time I bought the PDF pattern from Sub Rosa Design All Hearts Come Home for Christmas and the picture doesn't do it justice I've seen XG Design and Stitchy Mom on Instagram doing this also and I love how they uh, are doing this so uh, yeah I made a little start And I don't particularly like this fabric. It's, it says 28 count uh, linen, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I like this and I don't like, I need a magnifier <laughs> on 28 count. I never had this before. So yeah, but I love how the stitches are looking. So yes. We will be working on that one too. And there is my lighting again. Okay. Um, these were the whips I was working on on the last couple of weeks. And uh, yeah. Uh, the next one I will be showing you is the one I'm starting today. Yes, it's finally there. The 28th of December. Um, in case I haven't mentioned it, I... It is the, it's Thursday, the 28th of December, and it's uh, Chelsea's birthday. So happy birthday, Chelsea. And we were, will be uh, starting uh, a cell um, or stitch along, um, a winter stitch along from Priscilla and Chelsea. And it's called uh, by Country Cottage Needleworks. Forest snowfall and the uh, hashtag we were we will we will be using I'm sorry is 
uh, hashtag PC Forest Snowfall. And I hope you can see this without glare. But I'm guessing not. And I am absolutely excited to start this today. I ordered, um, I already had the fabric. Um, it's the mm, pearl, pearl gray Belfast linen. And the cold for fabric, it's 28 count and I'm using 32 count. It's a gray fabric. And it's already prepped for starting. And I also have whisper thread. And I ordered the fancy flosses for this. And yes, I love, love this. And I can't wait. And after my video, I will be uploading uploading this video for tomorrow. Uh, I hope I get it tomorrow on YouTube. Uh, otherwise, it will be Saturday. But after I will be uploading, I will be stitching on this one. So, can't wait. And what have I got next? Um... My plans for the new year. Whoa. Very bright. <laughs> um, the, my plans for the next year uh, are going to be working on all my whips. I'm not going to show you a recap because I started Floss Tube in October. So um, if you want, you can check my previous videos and see what I have been working on. Um, I will be starting for new year, new start. I'm sorry for the uh, noise. I will be starting this one. I have been anxiously waiting to get this one started. And I wanted this to be my new year, new start. And it's a pattern by Joke Trebbe de Nijs. She is the uh, LNS owner uh, of uh, Bordure Paradise, the LNS of Ingeborg, A Stitch Too Far. And she made this and yeah, I will be starting this one on the 1st of January. And I got the kit with the Paradise Garen and I can't wait. I will be working, sorry for the noise. I will be working this on a sampler green 28 gown count Zweigert uh, linen. And it's by XJU Design, so it's hand dyed. And yeah, I think it's going to be lovely. So that's my new start on the 1st of January. And then, in my last video, I told you I had a package on the way and something went wrong with the postal service. USPS uh, sent it to the Netherlands and then Two days later, it was back in the United States. So I contacted the seller on Etsy and uh, asked her if she knew what was going on. And she didn't, but she, we, we uh, had good contact, good communication. And we uh, decided to wait just a few days to see where the next um, place would be where the pattern, where the kit is, uh, was going to be. And um, to my surprise, uh, the day I made my last video, I received a message that uh, they had tried to deliver this, but I was home all day, so I wasn't sure. So I went online and was looking on different uh, websites where they uh, talk about this. Uh, we call this forums. I don't know if this is the same word for you, but okay. Um, and someone had posted a link to a website where you could, could 
uh, put your track and trace number by USPS and they converted it in, into the, the track and trace of your origin. And to my surprise, it was delivered at uh, uh, a postal service point. So I immediately changed my clothes, clothes and went to the shop where uh, they had delivered it. And it's here. And I'm going to start it, not on the 1st of January. I'm not an idiot, maybe a little. Um, but I'm going to show you what I got. I got Snow Queen by Mirabilia. I love this one. I saw Tina from uh, Simply in Stitches is working on this one and I immediately fell in love. I, yes. I saw this one on Etsy, uh, completely completely kitted up, um, except for the DMCs, but I have a, I'm going to move you, I have a wall right there next to the cupboard filled with DMCs, so it's fine. I'm going to kit it up with my own DMCs. And yeah, so it's that pattern and it came with a fabric. It's by Witchild. It's 32 count twilight blue uh, linen. And I think it's a wonderful stitch on this one. And it came with the embellishment pack. Love it love all these beads now i have to learn how to bead because i beaded my uh, christmas fairy by mirabilia but it was so uh, minimal and now i see these beads and i need to learn how to bead so if someone knows uh, about a good tutorial on youtube let me know and what do i need to use do i need a special needle or special thread let me know. And I also got uh, specialty threads. It's by Karen Waterladies. It's porcelain blue and monsoon. I love it. Love these colors. And of course, the metallic, chronic metallic threads. The green one. And it's very fine braid and it doesn't say the colors. Oh, this is pearl and this is emerald. So yes, I will be starting this in the next year. So it's a plan for 2018 and I, I can't wait for the new year to start. Um, little thing I need to tell you, I, oh yeah, I, um, signed myself up for the Farmhouse Christmas, uh, club by Little House Needleworks. There's a, uh, Dutch store, which, uh, made it known that we could sign up for this and I signed up for uh, all the patterns and all the specialty threads and all the fabric and yeah I will be getting uh, somewhere in January I will, I will be getting the first part and yeah can't wait I want to make uh, a lot of ornaments for next year so that's uh, part of my plans for next year I want to make ornaments I want to make a tree filled with handmade ornaments so that's one of the plans and um, what else I next to uh, cross stitching and uh, paper crafting although paper crafting is zero right now and I don't know when I get back to it um, I also do crochet and knitting and I a couple of years ago, no, not a couple of years ago, hello, yes, um, 
I think six months months ago till about a year ago I started a shawl for my mother and it's on regular knitting needles it's a lace lace shawl and I call it leaves leaves of lace I wanted to show you this it's a grayish purple or a purplish gray <laughs> With a little shimmer in it. I don't know if you see it. And I love it. It's really hard to knit this one. Uh, because the, the wool is really flimsy. And But I will be, will be finishing this one. It's coming, coming along nicely. It's... Let's see. It's this wool and it's by Penguin, a French uh, brand. Penguin and the color is Ardoise. I don't know, but I love it. So, and it's a pattern by www.knitting dash bead.com I will show you yes I believe it was a free pattern so and then my plan for uh, next year also is going to be I watched um, Nicole's needlework I binged them all. I will be shouting her out in a minute. Um, she knitted uh, the morning yearning shawl. And I immediately said, I want that pattern. I love it. And I have just the right wool for, yarn for it. So um, I will show you. I will lift you up and take you with me. Hope you can see it. It's that pattern on my laptop. I bought it. Put you back. I bought it at Ravelry uh, at Yarn Poetry Designs, and uh, yes, I have Nicole's needlework. Nicole to thank for that. I will be working for the first time in my life because I am not a regular knitter. I am a. I consider myself a beginner more or less. I will be working on uh, this yarn by Papatia. I don't know if that says something to you and it's variegated in different styles of blue and I love it and I will be working for the first time on circular needle and I don't know what I'm going to do because I never knit on circular needles and I don't know if if there are there any tutorials also on knitting with circular needles somewhere I believe so I will look on YouTube and I will be trying this out for the new year so yeah these are my plans I will be working on what I will be working on and I will work on whatever the heck I want. Um, yeah, love it. Um, next thing I want to say is, uh, yes, the um, Ingeborg, A Stitch Too Far, you have to watch her latest uh, video. She made a video about the upcoming Dutch uh, Stitchers Retreat and I will be going. Yes, I signed up and paid uh, a part of the amount I had to pay. So I believe I'm in. And Darling Bluebell Mika also, I believe. Uh, so, yay, I can't wait. It's in March and if you want to know the details, go to uh, Ingeborg's channel, A Stitch Too Far. 
and she will uh, let you know what you need to do and uh, where you can find the de details and yes I can't wait it's my first my first retreat and yeah can't wait um, last but not least uh, because this one was going to be a short video uh, are my shout outs I watched um, a new Flosstuber <laughs> Floss tubers, it's two, it's a duo. It's uh, Stitching Social, Alison and Jennifer, two sisters from Ontario, Canada. Um, they made one or two videos uh, right now, and I love their interaction. And they uh, uh, made some Mill Hill kits, and uh, one of them made. And was busy doing a nutcracker tree and I loved it I loved it when I watched it so yeah check them out I will link them below and the next one I told earlier uh, Nicole's needlework she is a long time youtuber long time floss tuber uh, I can't believe I just recently found her out uh, through pretty southern um, she is a cross stitcher she does uh, lots of samplers and uh, love her work and she knits and yeah you need to check her out she is uh, a lovely lady and yeah watch her uh, I will link her below also and yeah I need a sip of my coffee and I show you Keep calm, coffee is loading. Always need the coffee. Um, so yeah, retreat in March. Um, working on all my whips, I think. Working on some new starts. Um, we'll be knitting uh, on circular needles for the first time. Um, yeah. I want to learn how to bead for my mirabilia and yeah I believe that's it I will be uh, stitching on PC Forest Snowfall after this video so yay um, I hope you have had a wonderful Christmas I'm a little late with that I should have started with that but okay uh, I hope you had a wonderful Christmas and hope you have a good New Year. I hope you uh, have a lovely time. We will be staying at home with our two boys. And yeah, we had some fireworks and yeah, it's going to be fun, I hope. And uh, for the most part, I will be st stitching and yeah. So that's that. I will see you next time and uh, thank you for watching. Bye for now.